Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try Into the Flames. This is a game that you can find on Steam for about 20 bucks, but it is 40% off for the next 20 hours as of the date and time of this recording. So if you like what you see, then hurry up and get it. Now, it's kind of weird that a game would be 40% off when the release date was January 10th, just last week's. The recent reviews show mixed. So I'm wondering if the game just isn't doing as well as it should. So deep sale right out of the gate. Um, we're going to try it, see if we like it. I've got three or four other games to get to. So this is going to be more of like a first impressions kind of thing. Um, let's go ahead and just jump right into it and see if it's any good. Uh, options menu, you've got under audio, master, siren, voice, music, general sound effects. Graphic settings here. Uh, just pause if you want to see any of this in greater detail. Uh, everything looks okay there. Fine. Uh, what else do we have under options? Uh, oh, okay, there we go. For whatever reason, it didn't want to work. WASD crouch is left control. Ew. See? Uh, jump, sprint, flashlight, E to interact. At least that's right. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that my, my switch to C didn't really do much, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay, so there's online and offline. Yes, what I think sort of attracted me to this game was the fact that you can play online with others. Uh, if I go to online, it looks like there is people joining, or there are people playing this game. Um, so are you going to find a bunch of people playing? Possibly, but uh, from a week out, there's only maybe, it looks like 15 to 20 different rooms. And I wish I could like, I, I want to resize this window so I can see the rest of whatever this is, but I can't seem to do it. Anyway, I'm not going to play online. I'm going to go into the Academy and just sort of get a feel of the game. I'm assuming this is the game's tutorial. Um, this will really make it or break it for me. Uh, some games are just they have an awful tutorial. All right, so there's a question mark. Do I have a flashlight at least? <laughs> uh, e to start. Interact with the signs to start each tutorial. Check out the blue sign to the right for a complete list of the tutorials, as well as their completion status. The toolboxes can be interacted with to access the full equipment menu. The red hose connections can be used to equip the fire hose. Continue on to the next page to learn how to spawn fire trucks. Uh, I hit next. Um, okay. Um, I guess over here maybe? Structure fires. Goals. Extinguish fire, rescue victim, and clear smoke. Fire extinguishment. Walk over to the nearby fire truck. Go into the tool menu by standing and facing toward the truck. Okay, well, where is this? Oh, there is a next button that works here. Um, but I don't see a fire truck anywhere. I wonder if I'm supposed to do something else first. Press E to use the fire hose. Nothing's happening. Well, I want to... Sp I guess I should spawn that fire truck, right? Uh, maybe I'm supposed to go here. Um, okay, so this is the progress. Ladder truck not completed. Um, okay, so I have to spawn a truck. How do I spawn the truck? And how do I get out of this text? Oh boy, this is already great. Okay, enter. Um, let's check the settings menu and see if there's a button for spawning. Drop hose, drone camera, text chat, gear customization, vehicle. Is there a spawn vehicle button? F1? No. Interface. Uh, at least there's a first person map. Mm. It doesn't say how to. It just says to spawn one. I can already tell I'm going to be raging. Okay. Gear tools removed. So gear. Air pack, rescue bag, entry bag, medical bag, chainsaw, change uniform. Okay, what about tools? Hydrant, wrench, axe, hook, broom, absorbent, extinguisher. Okay, ladder. I see nothing in the way of a fire truck. I'm supposed to be doing that, correct? Yeah, alright, so back to this. Why is it so dark in this corner? Oh, oh, that next works now. Press game menu button to open first selection menu. Uh, select fire stations. 
select the fire station and noose option. Uh, okay. Um, so, menu. Uh, game menu button. What is the game menu button? Where is the tab? World map, responder, emergency player house, exit. World map? No. Responder list? No. Emergencies? No. So maybe not tab. Um, supposedly there is a game menu. Maybe host options? Level select, free roam, academy, uh, lock truck deletion, fire difficulty, very hard, normal is the easiest, uh, max call count, remove all trucks, uh, game time, auto under control, change map. Okay, so what does it want me to do then? I'm hitting next. Okay. Press the game menu button to open first. What is the game menu button? Is there a game menu button here? Like, let's take a look. Game menu button. Okay, tab. All right, I did that. Okay, I must have been in the right place. Now what? Oh my gosh, this thing. Oh my, come on. Yeah, if you don't click on the button exactly, you end up closing the window. Like, look look where my cursor is, right here. Click, close. It needs to be on the actual text, net, like the hitbox for this. Like, this is not part of the button. It closes it, that's, that's the problem. Okay, um, I just did it. Okay, so game menu, select the fire stations option. Select the fire station and a new set of options will appear. Teleport to station allows you to return to the station instantly. Okay, choosing the spawn truck option will bring up a new menu. All right, let's see if we can find that first. Um, fire stations. Teleport spawn. Spawn. Uh, I want to spawn. It's, oh, oh, fire stations maybe? Uh, okay. Uh, fire stations. Apparatus, ambulance, engine, let's do engine, right? Uh, spawn? Oh, that can't, I don't know what that was, but, yeah, there it is, okay. Well, we have found our first truck. Uh, I, can I switch seats from here? I guess not. Can I get closer? E to drive the vehicle. Okay. Controls aren't terrible. At least for the driving aspect of it. Now, what does it want me to do? Oh, this hitbox. Okay, um, click on the spawn truck. Go back into the fire station's light to teleport to any truck. Each station can have a maximum of two trucks spawned at any time. Trucks can be removed, yep. Yeah. Uh, on the free roam and airport map, you can use the map option in the game menu. On the map, you'll find every fire station, hydrant, vehicle, players. Uh -huh. Active emergencies that you have not assigned yourself to appear blue. Um, emergency spawn at random intervals. If you are the owner of the game session, you may spawn emergencies manually. Uh huh. Uh, to command, the command system allows you to spawn helpers to assist in tackling emergencies. Okay, new option will appear on the right. Once assigned to an active emergency, new option will appear. Okay, let's see if we can't figure out how to do that. Emergencies. Um, so I guess I have to go to fire station first. Like I've got, I've got the engine, and I can teleport to it. Well, maybe not. I can teleport to. Uh, what just happened? Did I? Sp what? <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened there. Uh, emergencies? Oh, there's okay. W where's the call at? Force dispatch call. What? These are all in... Random? This is awful. Guys, this... This is not at all user-friendly. Not at all. I have a feeling I'm just going to wash my hands of this and be done with it. This is... Unless the developer does something to make this easier for new players... My recommend... I, I'm, I'm done. 
if the developer is going to put this much time into a tutorial, then I'm going to put this much time into a video. Like, this is actually pissing me off. If you want a good firefighting game, go check out Ember. E-M-B-R. Ember. It's a four-player cooperative game. It's very arcadey, but it's still a lot of fun. I can't even get past this part, and I'm not going to bother. Um, so there you go. Into the Flames. Give this a hard pass unless you really want to, like... If, if you're the type of person that likes to beat your head off against a wall then by all means do so. Um, I can think of better things to do with my time. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.